Hi everyone, it's Liz Danoon. Today we are starting our very first Facebook Live on great ways, easy ways that you can teach your children literacy from home. But not your normal ways, your fun ways. So I wanted to tell you about this. This is a song I wrote back in 2009, believe it or not. And it was called, it is called, The Alphabet Sound Song. Now, one morning I was sitting at my breakfast bar and I was thinking to myself, The Alphabet is a great song. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And then I thought, but it doesn't really teach the sounds of the alphabet, does it? Not in a great way, it teaches us teaches us the letter names, but it doesn't teach us the sounds. So I started to think of what would be a better song to teach the sounds of the English alphabet. And I came up with this one. It took me quite a while to write it, but I had a lot of fun. So what I thought with my first lesson today is I would go through the words of the alphabet sound song, then I'm going to post them underneath this video so you can go back and you can look at them with your own children. And you can also, I'm going to also put a link in to me singing it so you can get that. And if there's any musos out there who would like to help me produce this song professionally, I have talked about it so many times, but I haven't actually done it. I would love to have you contact me and let me know what your thoughts are. So let me say it to you first. So it's called the Alphabet Sound Song for obvious reasons. It's the alphabet and it's the sounds of the English language. So it goes, sounds, sounds in every word I read. Can you teach them to me at double lightning speed? And then it goes, A says A, ah. B says B, C says K, and also says s. D says d, e says e, and f says f. Next goes another chorus. Sounds, sounds in every word I spell. I will get to know them so I can do it well. G says g, g can say j, h says h. I says E, J says J, K says K, and CK says K. Next chorus. Sounds, sounds in every word I write. I don't want to fight to have to get it right. L says all, M says M, mm. N says N, mm. K N says N, O says O, P says P, and P H says F. Sounds, sounds in every word I say. Knowing all my sounds helps me each and every day. Q U says Q, R says R, S says S, S says S. I'm getting confused. S H says Sh, T says T, T H says Th, and U says Ah. Sounds, sounds in every English word. Learning all my sounds means my English can be heard. V says V, W says W, W H says W, X says X, Y says Y, and Z says z or z or is it z i think in america sounds sounds in every word i read i am going to learn them at double lightning speed there you go so i wrote that back in 2009 it is a good a lot more um melody to it when you sing it properly and I used to sing so beautifully, but I haven't sung for so long. In the 10 Minute Tutor, which is my online reading and spelling program, I used that song to actually teach children the sounds of the English language. And I used my uh, very close 
cousin and friend who was a professional singer and actor and used to perform in lots of different stage shows to help me sing it. So um, thank you so much for that lovely comment. So there you go. I am looking forward to one, putting that up, all the lyrics for you, so you can teach that to your children. Two, I'm also gonna put a recording up underneath this video so that you can see all of the um, ways it can actually be used. And hopefully one of you out there is gonna help me to produce it professionally with a beautiful voice. Maybe, you know what I'd like to do? I'd like to do a rock and roll version. I'd like to do a blues version. I'd like to do a jazz version. I'd like to do a techno version. I'd love to do a whole heap of versions so that anybody out there who likes a particular music genre is gonna enjoy listening to it. And how important and how lovely would that be if that song was taught in every school after the alphabet song they then taught the alphabet sound song. How useful would that be, don't you think? Anyway, that is today's lesson. Tomorrow, there's more coming your way about fun ways to teach your children. And you might be thinking to yourself, gee whiz, that's pretty basic, just teaching the sounds of the letters of the alphabet. But can I tell you, there is a lot of people, I don't wanna say a figure, I was gonna say 10%, but I know 10% of our adult population are illiterate and there's a lot of people out there who do not know their alphabet they cannot say their alphabet a through to z so you might think it's really easy but for many people it's not so that's why songs like the alphabet sound song are so important and of course we've got to make learning fun singing turns on both sides of our brain as well and uh, it's super fun and it doesn't matter if you're a good singer or a great singer or a really bad singer. Singing is so good for the soul. So get singing everybody around your breakfast table tomorrow morning, around your dinner table tonight, and I will share all the resources that go with this post. Goodbye everybody, have a super day. See you soon, bye.